being in position. And an ace. That's her ninth for the season. 5 1 early Nebraska. It's been a funny preseason for many of these teams. A lot of teams beating up on each other. And there's an ace by Murray. the tape and got the ace. Good roll for Stevenson. Seventh ace of the season. Andy Jackson hitting 523. We combined, that is a group of middles who are hitting around 500 on the year. And there is the ace for Beeson. And we have set point here in the first. Not just hitting it flat, but getting on top of that ball. And that's a tough angle and tough ball to handle. Whew. And the ace by Murray. Talk about tough balls to handle. That was a great serve by Harper Murray, her second ace. It aces. Watch the movement on that ball. You can see it curving out. Four kills on six swings, no errors for Jackson. And there, that brushes the tape, and Landfair gets the ace. So here's Lauren Linseth, whose mom also wore number two for the Bobcats. Mom was a great player, and she gets the ace. That is her team leading ninth ace of the year. First Bobcat mom daughter. And Alexia Rodriguez picks up the ace in for Rodriguez. That's her fifth of the year. Looking to keep things close with again their first ever Big Ten competition Side with it trying to work the sideline and as we've seen Preston a few times go cross court. Bolton comes in and gets the ace quickly. She gets the ace. Maris thought that one was going out. That back line, so Michigan State still on this 7-0 scoring run. P Preston will start. Dug out nicely, but won't matter. Preston able to convert. The center for UTSA, the Roadrunners, McKenna Weeper, mentioned that they're a pretty scrappy team, so in order to beat them, you have to stay organized on your side of the net. When you have a service ace like this and a continual pressure, this is a surprise yesterday to see Bishop in the limited action that we did, but she was effective nonetheless. Who's from Ypsilanti, Michigan. She's played six sets this season and has a couple blocks. Um, she is another one who has such height to be able to match Michigan State up front. You could, Jack. And that was a zone two serve right up there at the net front that Michigan State would love to have. It's okay to not have it. Point this time, Spartans just unable. The block touches for Michigan State. Smith sending it over. Preston didn't receive that one. And Maris once again. A float serve there, Jack, is it's hard to read the oscillation and run the same types of combination sets that you can with my Zinko. Yeah, and a beautiful serve that time from Anderson. And we'll see how Michigan State continues to apply pressure. As you mentioned earlier, head coach Lee Johnson said you'll see his serve can get over 60 miles per hour when she's serving it well. And that's back-to-back -back service aces. Back in, and there it was Nikki Patton with the service error as we're headed the other way with a service ace. Not only in the second set, but in the first set as well, just immediately we're done nicely. And that is the offense that Mar Marist wants to see. And it's in a row. And this one was close, Spartans. Right, and being able to blow it cross court with the spin. As now we're seeing it over into where we are seated at. A dream summer playing for the Polish U22 team. She's somebody who adds a whole lot to Michigan State. Here's Bishop. And Julia Bishop able to get the service ace. It begs the question, Jack, is, is what do you do to jog her confidence and get her back in form? Increase that hitting percentage and do what they can, especially after last year, they're trying to continue to year after year. Is being at the front of the net, and for Miller, you try and work it into a block touch, and it didn't quite happen. Five kills for Phils, dare I say it. <laughs> uh, 
we saw Cody Johnson up here a couple years ago, a little rodeo music. Wedding stall. Too much to handle. I don't think Coach Barnes wants to go into a fourth set. Been able to hang on to this lead, 17-16. California Baptist leading the Hawkeyes. Well, a little mini run now by Iowa. You can feel the energy in the arena.